job. I'm trying to do food blogging, fitness, and lifestyle. I've just started with my YouTube videos and I'm trying to look like right now I'm setting my cameras to see where the light will be appropriate and also I'm uh, using my phone. Actually, I've not bought a camera but my phone is actually working good for me. I can't complain, I can't feel bad. Okay, this is a great journey and I would recommend whoever, uh, whoever wants some freedom for themselves and uh, wants to be free to do their own thing, you can choose, choose a niche which you want to try to blog about and it will be fun because these are the things you do every day and you feel good and great doing them and it's all amazing because um, you just feel free, you just feel free that you can do whatever you want and you just feel motivated and you just feel this life is worth living you don't feel like you're existing you feel like you're living actually you're having it all uh, yes and it's so amazing because many people house they there they are trying to create a life for them where they can be free to do whatever they want but they don't find that chance and opportunity because yeah i can say most of the time is more of a procrastination and it's a very bad um habit because when you keep it you keep procrastinating on the things you need to do time is going and you don't get to enjoy this life that god has given you i mean every day you just wake up is a blessing and you don't know where you'll be here tomorrow and this is the moment you just have to feel nice and to live good the always mission and uh, statement i always go with my myself i always say that uh, this life for me I'm on hard for a vacation. So every day is a vacation day for me. So I don't worry. I don't stress myself. And I go for whatever I want. I don't know how things are going to unfold, but I believe when I'm there, they are going to unfold. Unless when I'm here, when unlikely when I'm just saying, tomorrow I'll do this, tomorrow I'll do that. So I always make sure that whatever I have to do, it has to be today. I always tell myself, I hack now. If there's something I need to do, tell myself I go with the affirmation that I will act now and um, I just get right to it all I can tell myself if I feel like I don't want to do something I'll just count to three then I go straight and do it like one two three and then I'm doing the tasks which is amazing and good mm, actually this journey I feel is, is worthy taking and is fun and is lively uh, I've learned a lot since I came from uh, uh, being a chef and doing other things and everything and it's amazing because I'm planning to do so many things with my channel and I hope it's going to work out I'm not doubting I just know that it's going to work out um, uh, my niche are going uh, like I've explained earlier I'm doing fitness I'm doing food blogging and I'm also doing lifestyle I love traveling I love being in different places at the same at different times. I love uh, for those who don't know also, I'm also a private hired chef. I always get to go for vacation with families and I be their chef. Yes. So I'm um, I'm a chef by profession. I that one is I cannot say I'm bad at it. I love cooking. Being in the kitchen is my most happy place and I love being there because it makes me feel alive. I just I can tell myself in my life I've never I've never worked. I do what I love. Every time I'm cooking, I just feel good. It doesn't matter what I'm going to get out of the cooking, but every time I start cooking and I be in the kitchen, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel alive. I'm also doing this Japanese cuisine. I'm doing sushi. Actually, I'm a sushi chef. I can say that I have capabilities in Japanese cuisine, mostly in sushis, and they um and more of noodles and uh, tamagomaki, tapanyaki, uh, sushi sashimi, yes, tonkatsu. I know how to make their good uh, grilled pork cutlet. Actually, years back, um, I think it was the year of 2015, 20, if, I'm, if I'm not wrong, I used to work in a Japanese restaurant. It's called uh, Cheka Japanese Ezakaya. It's the only restaurant owned by a Japanese in Nairobi, and it was amazing. Actually, I was a waiter by then. I did not, uh, I had not yet gone on the road to being a chef and cooking. I was a chef. I was a waiter. I was a waitress. So I, I got to learn a lot from the Japanese. 
and also it's actually I don't know how things worked out for me because I remember when I went to Tamarish to do my apprenticeship and interview actually most of the questions came from the previous person that I was working in as a waitress so I concentrated so much in the kitchen and I, I knew what they were making different types of fish food storage and everything and guess what all my question came from there it's like i was being prepared before i went to join the apprentice program and it was amazing it was so great yeah so i went there i did the interview and it worked out well and i ever since i joined samarit i always loved being unique like doing things which other people are not doing so i worked on uh, uh, on, on, on knowing more about Japanese cuisine because we usually I was in Tamari Tree Hotel so we usually had um, Sunday buffet we would plate and make sushi and also on public holidays then uh, when there is an event upcoming event where sushi is involved I was always recommended to go and make some sushi which was amazing and beautiful I loved, I loved everything so uh, mostly my training of sushi I did in Tamari Mombasa when I was an apprentice. We were given the privilege to go all the section of the kitchen. Then you can choose whatever you want to be specializing. Maybe you want to do pastries, you want to do baking, or you want to do hot kitchen, you want to do pastry, you need to do uh, butchery, you need also to work on. Uh, on production also sales those are those were all involved and you had them um, the, 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 the privilege to go through all those stages it's amazing because it taught me so much that I I'm actually good in all kitchen section I don't think there's part of the kitchen where I can't work in and also I've created a blog my blog is about um, I'm, I'm actually creating recipes for my blog. They will be focusing on all uh, kitchen sections and all types of food, starting from starters, main course, desserts, snacks, pick up, pick, picnic boxes, uh, take away, take away, take away foods, and all that. I'm also working on building my own restaurants. They will be called, they will be called selling judges. I always say them because there will be many. I'm thinking of franchising them and uh, i'm still working on it um actually what i'm doing right now is trying to create a platform even before i start i had started some few restaurants and they failed uh i can say those are my learning point uh, because they failure they always uh, help you to to be better if you take them positively so me hayao most of my restaurants have realized that i've been more of a technician in their job instead of being the visionary and the entrepreneur person i am so i know what i'm trying to do is um i'm trying to learn more about running restaurants i'm also trying to know how to sell a brand the brand called me yes so um really working hard on that and also on finances i was so poor in reading financial statement and balancing my account payable and account receivable i'm still doing courses on that um like a month ago i finished uh, i finished online courses about about um digital marketing okay it, the, the the course is it, it, it's it's been held by uh uh, Matson School of Digital of Digital Marketing and Business, and it has really helped me. Actually, I had already uh, built a um, website with WordPress, but I do not go. I do not know how to go around it. So when the course just popped up from the YouTube, and I said, "Oh, this looks nice. Let me check it out." So I I, I, I clicked it, and it took me through a uh, through to 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 the site and. Um, I started the course which was amazing and it has really helped me a lot because now I can say I've really upgraded and I've done a lot in my website which is nice uh, and I feel good about it every day I'm learning new things and I can say um, I'm still learning from the best because you see if you want to be the best you need to learn from the best so I'm trying to follow some food bloggers my favorite is my favorite is Karina Karina Berry I love the way she creates a content and 
I love her journey as a person and the passion that she has with it and I I believe and know that I have the same passion and I'm not worried because um in a journey of a thousand mile you have to start with one step so I've, I've already started I'm not giving up actually I'm really working on my um, on my content so what i've decided to do because i i i, I, I know they would be bad i know they would be bad actually they would, they would be bad because i've not been used to it but i believe in time when i practice and practice it's going to be perfect because i believe practice makes perfect so i know in time in course of time i'll be perfect and i wouldn't have to worry about it it'll be just like the way i could i always like say it like an example they will always go to the kitchen and know what to do like i don't have to be told do this and this and this so right now what i can say in terms of cooking i can say this is like a recipe if i follow it within course of time it will come to a period where i don't have to go to the book and check the recipe again because it has already been initiated my in my conscious mind so i don't have to go repeating checking and checking and checking so i believe if i start blogging and um if i start writing content right now and writing every day actually i have a routine of journaling every day so i need to journal on how my day was and it's improving i can remember when i started oh my god i could not even finish of a page because i normally journal with both my laptop and both a uh, book a notebook so uh, when I started, uh, when I started with the book, I could not even finish a page. I was so shallow. But in the course of time, I can write up to five pages, six pages, and everything's just flowing. And every day I write. My, I always journal about how my day was, everything that happened today. And every time that I've been writing, I've been noticing that I've been finding out new things on. Um, new things on uh on how uh, on 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 because we always say that, that it's always say that we learn every day so every time we just notice something like hmm, i never knew this mm, this is nice then it pushes me to the next level and it and it makes me to learn something better yes so uh right now i've been able to be blogging and i'm like oh geez this is awesome and I love it and also I love it because um, and now I have all the time in the world I need to read I always read my books every day actually I've already created a library uh, it's growing a little bit I think the first shelf is almost full just a few books a little bit I've just started with a small a small library then I'll grow it in terms the books I'm focusing on our books of entrepreneurship and um, entrepreneurship and businesses and investing those are the books which i'm concentrating on because in future i would like to be an investor yes after i've franchised my restaurants and i've started selling george's foundation and then then i can be an investor because i really want to help small businesses grow i really want to put into them and uh, go through for other people the same way i would like people to go through for me in terms of of, of, of support and then encouragement i really want to do that my restaurants will be focusing on um i'm trying to target to those people those people who have just finished high school or they are living and they don't know which career path they should pursue what i'm trying to do is that i'll be creating this it won't be like an institution it will be more of like um i'll hire and train people who will train other people and the more i train the more the uh those people are going to rotate on all the restaurants to run what goes on and um to be equipped I believe nowadays you don't have to go to school so that you can be a good chef. Like me, I've never gone to any college door, but I was lucky enough. Life favored me. I joined Tamarin and now I'm a great chef. I can say that. And the knowledge that I was transferred to me, I would like it transferred to people because I was given it for free. And for free, I shall give. So I'm really looking forward for that. Actually, I'm talking about my plans, which I should not, but. That is what I have and I don't feel bad saying I'm saying, saying it because currently I'm looking for investors. I need people to be outside investors and uh, we grow together. It's all about coming together. No man is an island and unless you talk about your ideas and your dreams, you don't know who is standing there to help you, to come through for you in terms of to show you the direction. Actually, it's not all about 
people being big money into your business, people doing what is all about learning every day. I always believe two minds are better than one because I believe when you you are set to do something, then you discuss it. As they say, a problem once stored is a half solved. So this is my problem which I'm dealing with, which I'm, I don't feel bad about it because I'm not in a hurry for anything. I'm just waiting for everything to unfold because I believe right now everything that I'm doing, it's I'm taking steps. Um, one at a time it's like i'm climbing a ladder and in order for me to reach in the top i need to take every step i don't have to skip any step which is the thing for me it's just really been an amazing journey of being an entrepreneur being a boss lady it's good uh, it's nice there's not, there's nothing too fancy with it it's just uh being able to lead people be able to communicate your dreams and your ideas then you get you, you, you feel people are hearing you and they are trying to support you in any way they can in terms of getting good employees people will stick by you because your self guarantee is that employees are going to stick by you so when you get uh it's just really been a journey for me an amazing one i think in the, in, if i was given another life i'll keep doing the same same thing over over and over again i've never been afraid of opening and closing businesses no matter how small they are no matter how big they are I don't even feel bad. I can close today, then tomorrow, okay, so I'm gone. Okay, no problem, I just turn on. But the journey of businesses, this building businesses and run has been amazing. I've learned a lot of things. I've learned a lot, a lot, a lot. First being, uh, uh, being a, uh, first being a, a one of borrowing, like they say, I've done that time, it's not good. <laughs> I'm not happy. I'm not actually I'm not happy I'm so sad but I've learned so the next time I won't think of money as the issue the issue is the management how is the money coming in how is the money coming out before I try lending getting some money and borrowing I would consider a uh, first I do a small test I like um test if the business is making sense or is not making sense because we we, we, we we read a book about the rich dad uh not not rich dad poor dad mm, uh, it's about um the book is about okay. the book is about um the richest man in babylon and it talks about where her youth is young and he doesn't make right decisions in, 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 in they always borrow they always borrow not knowing what to do with the money and they borrow recklessly so they spend most of their time paying debts which they accumulated and by the time i had read that book i had already accumulated the debt so hey hey it was crazy it was crazy but i believe that now i learn, i've learned i know better ever since that i did the book I've started knowing and settling my edits and um, very soon they'll be over, which is an amazing thing. Uh, this patient, these people who are patient to wait, there are those people who want their money right now, and there are those who people have just gifted you like, we are not going to ask that money. If you pay us, it's okay. And which is a good attitude anyway, because me of most of my life, I've, my most of my life I've done that. I don't count when I give because I believe if they will return it's okay if they don't it's still okay life happens you borrow expecting tomorrow to get money then you don't like me when i borrowed that money it was actually a good thing because i used to borrow money get a good get a good stock and uh, do some few big things which was amazing but they say when it rains it pours it pours and it's crazy so uh, it was so I, I did I did I did uh, several of researches. I've done several researches. I've read uh, several books, which I will recommend in the link below. Mm, which are amazing for those people who are thinking about entrepreneurship. It's a go go. Don't think twice. Just go into it. Go into debt. Clear those debts, but learn. As long as you're learning, you'll be an expert. Nobody was born to be an entrepreneur. We just learn. I'm still a journey there. Um, um, I'm still on my journey there. Yes, yeah, so go out to the side there and think if I cook, if I cook good food, 
people are going to buy for me and people are going to support me and, uh, and then I'll be I'll be okay and my business will just grow but that's not the case because I've not learned about management I don't know actually how to run a business it becomes difficult when you're employed everything is done for you so you just have to focus on one 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 one, one area of work and which which is not um, which is not more advanced because what you're taught is to be a technician but it takes a lot to run a business you need to be a technician you need to be a manager and you need to be the end of you know you are at the same time so uh when you start out uh, cooking your own food i'm doing your own things all uh starting your own thing what you're trained what you are wired to do is a technical work so i'm not going to talk about a lot about this because when you read the book it has really explained a lot about the businesses and how to go through it and it's really a good read i would recommend everyone who wants to be an entrepreneur who is starting out and who is thinking to be an entrepreneur to go and read the book i'll put it in the link below uh then you can you can uh, you can go through it so um so uh what i got, the reason why i'm filming all this is because i want to look back in my journey and i'm like yes i made it if i do and if i don't um i'm, I'm glad i did this video and actually Whoever is being touched outside there, don't feel bad that your businesses are failing. Don't feel afraid of starting out. Don't feel afraid of failure. Just go through it. The nature has a ways of working things out for you. You actually won't believe what you can make. Know your power. If you know your potential, you won't even know. You won't even know. You won't, you won't even worry about it. It will be amazing. So I could tell everyone who wants to start any journey, if it's your career choice. If you're not happy with whatever you are doing right now, we are only given one life to live. So, I would recommend, just go for it. Don't worry about anything. As much as you don't know how tomorrow will bring, you don't know how your life will be. You don't know your turning point. So just test the waters and go, go through it. It will be, I can guarantee you and I can show you that even if things will work the way, according to the way you are planned, you are going to learn new things and actually you don't know what the life has for you on that journey you've taken and that uh, side you have decided to go so uh how would be able to tell you much most of my videos will be coming soon yes yeah, so, uh with further ado let me leave you with this telling you this that you are worthy whatever you're thinking whatever that dream that you have consumed in your mind it's worth it don't be afraid try it and you'll be glad and you'll pick yourself in the back like I'm glad I took that daddy I'm glad I, I followed whatever I, I uh, everything that I thought about yeah so I'm excited to talk to you guys I'm excited with this journey it's not an easy one it's a tough one it takes um discipline because right now what I'm try trying to do is work from home uh, and work for my own brand actually I'm not expecting any payment from anywhere but these are something i've decided that i want to do and i can say that it has been working out for me it has really grown me to be who i am today and i feel better and i'm still growing this is not the end i'm still growing so it's amazing so i'm still waiting and waiting to see what does the future hold for me then i'll be like oh nice just be happy i know it's a great journey and it will be nice and so uh if you like the video please i would like you to subscribe to the channel i'd like you to share and write me a comment don't feel bad just i'll be happy to answer your comments and i'll be happy to hear what you have to say yes uh, through this journey of food blogging of entrepreneurship of lifestyle and fitness uh hopefully i'd like to go along with you guys yes